Let's write the formula for phosphorus pentoxide. So we see that we have phosphorus here, and then we have oxide, that's oxygen. So we have two nonmetals. This is going to be a molecular compound, and we'll use these prefixes here to help us understand the formula for phosphorus pentoxide. So when you look at this, you're thinking, okay, phosphorus, we'll put a P oxide, that's O. And since we have pent, pent means five, so we could write PO5. This just doesn't look right to me as a chemist. That's a lot of oxygen atoms around the phosphorus. Phosphorus pentoxide is kind of special for historical reasons. So PO5, that is not the formula for phosphorus pentoxide. You'll also see this called diphosphorus pentoxide. So again, we have our phosphorus, but now di, that means two. So P2, and then we have our pentoxide, O5. This is a little bit better. It looks a little more reasonable to me. So when chemists and scientists, they were studying this diphosphorus pentoxide, or you could call it phosphorus pentoxide, this is what they found. They found that in the molecule, there were two phosphorus atoms for every five oxygen atoms. That's the ratio. This is actually an empirical formula. So this is the lowest ratio of these elements here in the molecule. Later, when they had more advanced techniques, they realized that it was actually P4O10 and that the molecule looked something like this here. So we have the same ratio. We have two to five, essentially, four to 10. But the molecule, the way it's arranged here, we have four phosphorus atoms and then 10 oxygen atoms. So the actual molecule has four phosphorus and 10 oxygens all bonded together. So this is the formula for phosphorus pentoxide, also called diphosphorus pentoxide. And sometimes you'll see it called tetraphosphorus decoxide. So this is a case where there's a bit of history behind the formula, and we call it phosphorus pentoxide or diphosphorus pentoxide, but what we mean is P4O10. So if you're asked to write the formula for phosphorus pentoxide or diphosphorus pentoxide, really what we're talking about is P4O10. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.